Okay, let's go a little bit more solid in this game. How about some knight f3? And our opponent has only played 16 blitz games, 22 bullet games. All right, rapid 43, 2300, so he's not, not bad, but <clears throat> probably because he accepted 3-2. One of those guys that can't handle a time scramble. And the 2000 bullet rating is the main indicator of that. As we get a Botvinnik. Super easy to play against. No intimidation. A5 is met by knight e1, knight c2. And when they go bishop e6, you want to play against d5. So bishop g5 comes to mind. And if they go this way, bishop e6, I can play knight e3 and just sink a knight there. Or if he goes this route, can I go b4 immediately? Let's go bishop d2 first. So there's no e4 in any of that nonsense. And this just looks like an easy position. As black has got all this space, and he's looking for an all-out attack. And I'm like, okay, cool, but if your attack doesn't succeed, you lose in every endgame. And I love betting against my opponent. So these types of positions, I'm a big fan of. So we'll see if you can push me off the board. But in the meantime, I got my plan. I got my break. And I am satisfied with this. Now I have an open file. And go here. Looking for queen b3 as a follow-up. Okay. Seems pretty reasonable, sir. And I want to double, but I don't have a good square. We'll try that one. And actually, maybe I should have wanted the knight there. I should have gone rook b1. I don't know. Bishop e6, I'm still not worried, because even if he takes, I take with check. This should force his hand a little bit. Bishop b6, rook takes b7. And black is in an all or nothing position, which is what you typically get when you play the bot Bennett, which is why I've personally never been a big fan. I'm not an all or nothing type of guy. I like just having a wee bit of something to work with. I don't ask for a lot. Now that that's gone, let's put that there. How about we ease on up? G4, Bishop E4. You can have key squares, but again, 
I don't feel that you're going to have enough coordination to be able to get an attack. And if you go this route, can I not just shut everything down? I will be getting a pawn by force. I'm okay with this. It was interesting, but started to feel like desperation. Mm -hmm. That on a decent square. Uh huh. Expected. G four, Bishop E eight. Not a fan. With the knight on d5, even if he goes e4, I have d e4. If bishop d4 e3. It's messy, but I do believe it works. Rook a1, bishop f1. The attack never really manifested, and I felt like my opponent should have. I mean, he's got the bishop there. He needs to do something there, but again, this was a straightforward plan when facing the Botvinnik variation of the English, and I didn't optimize the move order. You'll be seeing that in the Master of the English opening. Still working on fine-tuning the exactness here. But bishop e6 is 100% the way to go. And this is where you've got a few different moves. Like knight c2, you're going to have to face d5. And these, these positions are, are fine for, for black. Bishop g5 is definitely worth considering because if you get f6, black is already starting on the plan that I want him to, which is go ahead and overpress for me. You go bishop e3 to keep an eye on d5. So, I played these lines before. And b4 immediately, I considered that there may be potential complications there, but knight b5 is just better. So don't do that. Bishop d2 is a waste. And already the engine favors white very heavily when we get this position, because black is all or nothing, completely all in with the extended pawn structure and a weakness to focus on. And I could definitely play bishop takes b7, but I was looking to get rid of the only attacker, and it liked rook b1, because it wanted the b6 square for the knight. Best move, bishop c3, best move, bishop b4, best move, bishop takes c5. Bishop e4 first, so I can play f3, g4, and shut down all counterplay. That that's the play in it like off move. Kill all counterplay. Queen b3 though, first choice by the engine. Now bishop e4. This gives him some play. Takes. Takes. Queen takes c5. I went with the solid route. Now after queen d7. Yeah. Opponent resigned as moves like bishop d4 all throughout the variations met by e3. And this is 100% trivial at this point. 
So hopefully this was a quick, clean, clear, easy lesson for playing against the Bop Vinick. You just gotta remember your break ah, on the queen side. It also works colors reversed if you're a Kings Indian or Grunfield player. That's that.